Hey guys, we're edition of Sidecast Gaming here with the Caster Cyanide. Today we're gonna be looking at a um, friendly match between two of my my good friends and fellow casters up here in the top right hand side. We do have uh, Kerbob playing as me, playing as Cyanide on my account, and the bottom we have Caden uh, playing as the Red Terran. A little bit of uh, some introductions, not introductions, but uh, announcements. Sorry, to get out of the way here early in the game. Uh, this is my first cast with our, with my new setting, uh, Bandicam to record in Vegas Studio 10 to edit. Before I was using Camtasia to both edit and record. Didn't give me the uh, editing features that I really wanted to get out of it, and uh, just just wasn't wasn't very good for recording either. I'm trying Bandicam, see how that works. Um, let me know what you guys think. Also, I just got a new microphone, the uh, Blue Yeti microphone, and uh, I'll be using that uh, for my audio for the rest of my cast for now on and forever. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. A little bit of high quality audio to go with my videos. Alright guys, we saw the drone trick go down for uh, Kerbob early in the game here, getting out the extra drone early, uh, something that Zerg players have been known to do. Um, getting down the barracks. For Kaden down here at the choke point, uh, pretty pretty basic, natural thing for Terran to do, want to wall off against Zerg. Pretty much everyone actually wants to wall off against Zerg. Uh, if we look at Zerg, we see the overlord placements for them. Yeah, this guy, who he's either going to scout or going to sit by the destructible rocks here. And this guy's going to move out to watch the ring. Very nice placement there for those. Alright, he's getting a lot of minerals. Uh, looks like we're at, what, 13? Yep, spawning pool going down at 13. Uh, 14, I guess, you want to be... Really specific about it. Got this overlord sitting in right here. I would rather that move down a little bit more so I can see more of the ramp, more of the low ground, and it can move back over pretty easily to escape any kind of attack coming down here. This overlord over here, though, looks like it's in the exact correct position. You can see the rocks, make sure nothing's just destroying them. Um, also, be able to stay out of sight. Got the wall being completed down here for Caden. Getting an early, a very early gas before. Wow. The very early two gases, second gas having no harvesters in it yet. Don't know why we're doing that. But sure. Alright, two guys, three guys come over, so now we're mining four from one and three from the other. That's too many on this one. Over here, should only have three at each one for maximum efficiency. But it looks like we are now getting a reactor upgrade straight away. Get one pump up those marines. This SUV is just sitting here, I don't want that at all. Got an expo down for the uh, Kerbob up here. Blue Zerg up in the top. Very nice. Very nice expo. And we see some Zerglings coming out. Those are those group of uh, six. What is that? Six. Yep. Six Zerglings. There should go down to scout a little bit at the ramp. There's nothing there right now. Could do a little bit of damage. A little bit of harassing. Oh, but another barracks coming down now for Caden. That's going to be helpful in repelling these Zerglings. They're just going to sit there, chill out, and be like, we're just going to chill over here today, guys. Nothing big going on. All right. Um, should be getting that upgrade right now for the metabolic boost when he gets yeah, about 100. He has it now, should be getting that. Should be getting that. He'll get that soon. Oh well. Uh, we do see Caden. Looks like he's going to send out a little scouting SCV down here. And, uh, while this barracks is building over here. Still hasn't pumped out any Marines, but he has two in production right now. Along with continuing constant SCV production, which is always good to see. Oh, this is getting a factory as well over here. Look at that, a little bit of a factory tech. Hope maybe getting some tanks, something like that, to deal with some early, early push by the Zerg. Oh, these Zerg are going to rip the SUV apart, but he's going to get away, going to get into the base, it looks like. But, oh, they're going to come in and finish the deal. He's not going to see anything except maybe the expand, which I'm pretty sure he did see. Let's check. Did you see the expand? He did. He saw the expand going down, and uh, knows that he's, complete. he's got the expansion. All right. Alright, yeah, the Zergon's coming here over here to take the tower. Gonna be taking that tower. Gonna be able to see if he tries to move out. Response to the expand. Uh, Kaden is getting his own expansion down over here. No. Uh, don't know if that's a great idea or not. Um, trying to race someone who got an expansion earlier than you. I don't know. We should probably just build up an army and go attack. Because uh, he has. That early expansion is gonna cause him to have almost no units over here. Uh, except for these Zerglings. These was. Oh, he has a little more now. About, what, eight Zerglings? About eight. Five. About ten. Actually, ten Zerglings. Is that what we have? Let's just check really fast units. Yeah, ten Zerglings against four Marines. Not a very good, not a very good for those Marines. Those Marines are going to get down fast. We've built up some more units. Um, 
could take the expansion pretty easily with only those ten zerglings to defend. They're not even over there, but they will see um, any kind of any kind of uh, force coming because they do have control of both of the wasp towers. All right, what else we got going on right now? Nothing much. The expansion is just going down. Getting some saturation on this expansion. Got that queen over there to bring some larva injects into there. All those, look at all those larvas right now. Should be using some of those. Should be making some units right now. Got some roaches coming out. Roaches are coming out right now. For Zerg, looks like we have drones coming out and roaches, along with the Overlord. Yep, a good place for Overlord to come out right about now. And you can pump out some roaches. Um, let's see. Still just shooting on the, the watchtowers over here, just chilling, making sure nothing's coming up. Well, the Terran player is really messing up a small army. <laughs> Nothing big. We have this SUV. Where's this SUV going? Let's find out. He is going to go and go somewhere. Go up to this tower and get into the Yep. Alright. So. We have a Hellion out now, along with the Marine Marauder Force. For Caden, this is going to be able to deal pretty well with what the seven roaches and ten. No, no, he's probably, he's probably he would still die. He would still die. He would probably still die. All right, getting some mining going down here at this base. Going to make some more SCVs. Nothing really major going on in this game at all yet. Nothing. Nothing big. This force right here. This is a pretty big force right now. Could definitely take out this expansion. Definitely take out that expansion right now. If he chose to. Or he could just sit there and do nothing like he is right now. That's also also a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan. Now we have Roaches moving out right now. Are they going to go attack? Could we see an attack right now? Could we? No. Okay. We're gonna go back down, seeing the medibacks being dual pumped out there. And the water makes it. As soon as those come out, they're gonna be extremely hard to beat for the Zerg player. Oh, we see an attack coming in now. These roaches are gonna come in here and do some damage, but they have no link support. They have no link support at that. And they're gonna get really buddy. And they're gonna get them down. Villagers had the link support like they should have had, they would have probably taken that force out and could have done some major damage to that expansion. But the medevacs are out, not moving over to heal the troops because they just came out and they're kind of lazy. They're just going to sit there and be like, nah, I think we'll just sit over here for right now and not do anything really. That's okay. That's fine. Because now there'll be a planetary fortress there. <laughs> Alright, planetary fortress going down now for Caden that's going to protect that expansion. He is supply block though. He is supply blocked. Is he building? Is he, is he building in the supply depot? He is not. No supply depot. He's getting some test shells and building, getting siege tech, and now he's building two supply depots. Getting those down somewhere. Don't know where yet. This force right here really should be growing right now, but it doesn't. It looks like he's getting a spire and we're researching burrow as well. Burrow roaches are going to be hard for anyone to deal with. I do. I am going to say though, this creep spread. For um, this creep spread for Kerbob up here is really good. Really good creep spread. Uh, gonna give his units a lot of defensive advantages. Uh, but going on the attack with this force right now, I don't really, I don't really agree with that. Uh, he is, he is here, will now know that. Uh, going up here, taking out this body from doing some major damage over here. But he's gonna go ahead and let this Zergon get destroyed. Because this is down. He could just run straight up here and do some major damage up here. Because we do have two medevacs that are sneaking around the back, fully loaded. Fully loaded up here. Medevacs gonna you know, watch this, see what happens. <clears throat> but we are gonna see more roaches coming down to join the fight along with these Ling coming from the supply hang from the uh, supply. From the tower, they're going to come down and join this zone of support that's massing up over here. We still see these two medevacs just sitting up here. Fully loaded medevacs, just kind of chilling. We don't really want to do anything. Alright, we got a forest coming up right now. Um, I have a couple of areas showing you triple rocks. He has no idea because he has nothing. He's always put a spot over there. There's Aaron. 
the eight foot, you know, overlord to fly these guys. The pylon there, just make sure these rocks are not getting destroyed. Um, in reality, still, that's still down, right? Yep, it's still down. You can come over here, just run up this ramp, and just wreck all these units probably right now. So I think he's gonna just sit there. Oh, he's gonna have a drop point, it looks like. He is making mutas right now. He looks are gonna be out, but I don't think they, they, they're not doing any scouting. He has no scouting over here. He does not know what's coming. He has some expansion going down. But this drop is gonna just wreck him. All of the units are over here. He's gonna go ahead and do that for a little while. Exactly. We're having to do this. We're attacking. We're attacking. We're gonna be in old again. Look at that. He's taking the medevac out. Shoot the medevac. Shoot the medevac. Shoot the medevac out. Oh no. The medevac's alive. Oh my gosh. He's destroyed. But now he's gonna see the. He's gonna come over here. Attack his rock. Take them all down. Going for a little behind the back of the boat. He's attacking him. See how that's gonna go. For him, we don't. I don't expect him to do too well. I don't know, he has no units over here. He rushing, kill a lot of them. But. Man. Probably should have pulled back. He could have defended that base. He didn't. Um, wasted a little bit too much time. And. He could have lose his base over here. He should just pull back. Or. Basically what we saw was Caden wreck this entire base right now, uh, with his force, and they're not, they're not, they're gonna catch him. Those are some fast fucking marines. Stands <clears throat> up, fast marines are gonna chase down these roaches. Yep, right there, guys. These roaches are gonna get back on the creep, go doubles fast. That is doesn't matter. At that He kills off. I mean, it, it really doesn't make right now. He has no forces. Um, nothing to build forces with. He can't even. You know, he can't even build in the third wing to He can't build anything. Right now. He has no units of producing structure ability. He can make. What can he make? Oh, he can make roaches, though. He's got a roach horn somewhere. Oh, that's up here. That's up here. That's dying. That's up here and that's dying. Alright, but he's gonna go ahead and get another expansion at the top. And look at this. This force is. That, that's death right now. But that's cool. Who needs a siege tank? Who needs that? Oh, we're gonna go. Oh, nope. Not gonna go past those those trees right there. Those trees are dangerous. Can't go in those trees right there to find the expansion with nothing to protect it. Why not? Let's just not do that. I'm not gonna come up here. See this one's going at the tower and just go ahead and kill that. Why not, right? Sure, let's see for it. Roach Warren is dying up here slowly off creep, but this hatchery is gonna get down and be able to expand the creep so he can keep building roaches. However, roaches are going to do absolutely no good against this. Roaches are not going to do any good against that. They're just going to die. Especially with this to back it up. Alright, are we going to... Do we see any production going on? Nope, not really. Nothing for either player. Minerals. Minerals are just all the way up there for Caden right now. 3,000 minerals. Not producing anything, but he does have his marines back at base. Oh, he's going to go over there. There we go. He sees the expansion. And Caden's Kay going to win as Kerbob leaves the game when he finds the left expansion. So, there we go. There you had it. 
it was an interesting game. I, I guess uh, a lot of a lot of sitting around doing nothing until there was a final push. Um, I think Kerbob could have stayed in that game longer had he pulled back from the base after he'd done the damage, destroyed the SCVs instead of trying to destroy all the structures, because he clearly wasn't going to get it done. Um, he should have pulled back, defended his expansions. He probably could have done that with that force, built back up, and maybe had a chance to win the game. But when he made the mistake of not pulling back, um, that's pretty much it after that. Uh, wasn't didn't have the forces available to fight off the Marine Marauder Medivac combination. Um, it was just too strong in this game. Uh, didn't have the early pressure. He could have probably attacked multiple times to get in there uh, and do some damage earlier in the game with his Zerglings. He chose not to. Um, but you know, he doesn't need to do that. The, the big point in the game was just not pulling back um, when he was going at the base. He should have pulled back, uh, done the damage when the drop was happening. His main his main died, and that was hurtful, but nothing you can really do about that uh, without completely abandoning his attack over here on the main, which he did do some pretty serious damage, um, killing all the SCVs from over here with that one attack, um, taking out the, the add-on on the starport and making the starport lift off, go over here, couldn't make medevacs for a while. Um, but in reality, he should have come back tried and defended this. Right here, he would have had a base then. He could have killed off these workers, or these units over here that were coming to attack. And, um, let's go back to that time, actually, if we can. Let's see if we can find it really fast. Because that was, um, was a big, a big turning point in this game. Let's see if we can find that. It's not here. A little bit further. A little bit further. Alright, let's go from here. That's fine. Alright, we see the drop coming in right now. Um, the drop is going to come in. Caden on the top here, and um, he's gonna, and Kerbal is gonna be gonna overreact a little bit. Not it's fine though. It's a drop. Attacking over here. Let's um, see what he's doing now. Oh, sorry, the, the Kerbal cam. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So the drop is gonna. Oh, he's gonna over here. Target fire and medevac. Let's go for a while. Medevac. Alright, he's gonna go in there. Remember, oh, he's coming to fortress. Come over here, gonna attack those rocks. Oh, uh, let's go back over there. Let's see if he's gonna go over there. Let's see if he's gonna go over there. Let's see if he's gonna go over there. Nope. Yep, he's gonna go over there. He's taking his heroes away from the news moment, but the Russian is gonna die. He's gonna go over these forces over here should be right now. Um, right now, I should be pulling back. Really, uh, we could have definitely held off the that force. Killed it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's really gonna do not any real damage here. He's over here. So, let's go back look at him. He's gonna look down here. Gonna make. He's making some units, was he making? He's making drones. He's making units. Okay. That's good, I guess. But right now, I mean, you missed it, we missed it. So let's go back a little bit. Right, it's about here. Right? Okay, he's coming in right now. He sees this He's not really making units for a while. Um, but he's not paying attention to these units. He's back over here at the base. And watch over here. He's looking over here at his new expansion. And what they're about to die. He's getting low for now. He's not saying He is over here still. He's still looking at his drones. He's gonna come back over here and be like, Where did my forces go? They've all died to weren't paying attention. I believe he's like, Where is everyone? And so he's gonna run away. He's not gonna get very far. Those units should have been over here, uh, helping to defend against these guys. Because if you defended these guys, kill them off, the next push probably wouldn't have been so scary. We could have built up a little bit of time, took these guys off, uh, a little bit of time, but uh, nope, this push is going to come in right now. Uh, probably not, a, not the best idea, but, you know, this is this was one of their first games I played on um, StarCraft 2, getting back into it after a while. So it's understandable why they made that mistake. Um, if you're in a situation, like I said, I'd recommend pulling back when you, when you see... First of all, pay attention to units when they're attacking. You can't just, just expect them to do things automatically because they'll just 
they'll die. They're they're not done. The AI in this game is not as smart as it could be. It's better than StarCraft One, but not as good as it could be, especially when it comes to attacking. So always know where your units are, keep track of them, and um, basically uh, just know when to pull back. That's the main thing I teach from this game, or I can get from this game, I guess, if you want to get something from it. Know when to pull back. Know when you can't do any more damage, and you have to protect yourself. Like a base race against that kind of this army right here, probably not the best idea. Um, it was panic. You want to attack when they attack you. That's cool, but he could have definitely defended this with those units that were sitting up here for the longest time, and um, you know, just make the best use of your units. Don't don't make them die like that. Just make the best use of them as possible. That's really all I have for this game, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was a little bit helpful to you guys. If you're maybe uh, bronze, silver, gold leaguers, um, that's what I'm trying to do. Hope you guys out. Hope you get better. Um, anyways, hope you liked it. Subscribe, comment, tell me what I could do better, what you didn't like, what you did like. Um, tell me if this mic is is better than the old one. I think it is, but I can't really hear uh, that well. So just like. So just let me know what you guys think, if you like this mic better, or if you like the old one better. Um, probably not going to use the old one no matter what, because uh, I like this mic a lot better. But go ahead, comment, tell me what you like, and uh, I'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll have some, have some more videos up soon, and uh, have a great night, guys. Enjoy.